you're like um, all machismo. I mean, like to me, you're like the. It's a front. <laughs> totally. I'm, I'm the... actually scared right now. Yeah, oh, yeah, please. Yeah. You also have like the super sensitive side. Can you tell me more about how you broke this all down? I think I think a lot of what you're seeing is, is a work in progress. Studying with with Terry at William Esper's made it um, possible for me to explore the idea that I could be sensitive and still be strong. I can be truthful to who I was outside of the armor, you know, take all that crap off of you and tell me who you really are. My older brother, you know, was a really big figure in this Latin King Street, you know, gang thing and got a lot of respect on the streets. To be able to get the level of respect that he got to me was very impressive and so I thought in my mind that's what I wanted, you know, and and wow, how lucky that he's my brother and he's gonna help me get that street cred. But at the time, that's the influence I had on me. Yet I had mom and dad, mommy and papi, who really loved us and really wanted the best for me. So I made the abrupt decision of joining the United States Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. And a few months after I joined, my brother was indicted. Wow. I remember at that moment, it all, this moment of clarity, I, I had made the right decision. Uh, it wasn't until 2003 when I had another moment of clarity mm -hmm. and it came in the most unusual of places. It was during the invasion of Iraq and I thought of many things as the bombs were falling on us. And I thought about this young kid from Sunset Park, Brooklyn, who always dreamt of acting and singing. And here I was and, and it was all going to go away and I never was going to experience that. And it made me very sad. When everything around you seems dismal, dead-endish. You start to think, when am I ever the most happiest? For me, it just happened to be those moments where I was on a stage. What was the first act that you took towards pursuing that? I went to an open call. It was like a Latin American Idol show. Mm -hmm. And I went to it, and I was there with my wife, Francesca, and she was super pregnant, um, <laughs> and we went and the line was around the block in mid, somewhere in midtown Manhattan, and I said, I'm, I'm not standing on that line. Mm -hmm. And we went all the way back home to Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, and I went back and we parked and we went upstairs, we're talking, and she's looking at me like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I just thought maybe this is like the thing that I wanted to do, but that line was like way around the block. I'm not, that's not me, I'm not doing that. So I just, just I had an idea that I could possibly pursue it. She's like, I think you should go back, you know? And so we got back in the car, we drove all the way back to Midtown Manhattan. And at that point, the line around the block was actually less than like 10 people. So I got on the back of that line, I'm the last guy. And I go in and I do a, a Luther Vandross song. And the people, I guess the producers and the auditioners were writing something. And when I hit my first note, they just, they looked up. And they looked at each other. And I'm watching them and I'm like, oh shit, I think they like me. I was very happy at the moment, you know, and, and I looked at my wife and she had the tears in her eyes and she's like, you know, I told you, I told you. And um, Jose Rivera, who wrote Motorcycle Diaries, is the first Puerto Rican ever nominated for the Academy Award mm -hmm. for screenwriting. Mm -hmm. He gave me the best piece of advice ever. You know, he says, uh, JW, everybody gets online. Mm -hmm. And along the way, people jump off that line. Mm -hmm. He says, it is your job to stay on that line. And then he eventually, it will be at the window. Do not get off that line. What are you like most proud of? What show that you're on? What character are you playing? What scene is happening? Playing Detective Alvarez is cool. It's, 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 you know, I'm the first human to ever play him. He's a comic book character. Oh, okay. And I know a lot of young people, young Latinos, mm -hmm. you know, really gravitate towards his story. So being on Gotham, I hope one day they make him a much bigger presence. Mm -hmm. And that's just more for the sake of the young person who says, man, that guy sounds like me, he looks like me. He's Latino too, man. Get your evidence.